Perfect? Bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead, bang on it. No heart? You gotta have heart. Miles and miles of heart. This is Patchwork Heart Ministries Young Catholics Respond, brought to you by Breadbox Media. Now, here's your host, Bill Snyder. Thanks, Adam, and welcome to the program, everybody. I am Bill Snyder. This is Young Catholics Respond, and I want to thank you for tuning in today and listening, no matter where you're listening from, and remind you that you can find out more about our ministry at patchworkheart.org. For those of you who don't know, Young Catholics Respond is part of a larger ministry, Patchwork Heart Ministry, and we are an organization that is simply dedicated to sowing hope into broken hearts. And you know, we do that in many different ways. We uh, support different organizations and people with a media strategy. In addition to that, we are working on some uh, new books and booklets and devotionals. Uh, We already have one, by the way, the Contemplative Stations of the Cross. If you haven't uh, checked that out, I know it's not Lent. Uh, We're in the Easter season, but check it out. It's a great devotional uh, that we publish to help aid you in reflecting on the sufferings of Jesus Christ. And we have a lot of other things in the works. So in order to stay on the pulse, to keep your finger on the pulse of our ministry, um, I encourage you to also support us on Patreon. And uh, we release special updates and uh, new things first to our Patreon subscribers. So uh, please go and check out Patreon by uh, check us out on Patreon by searching for Patchwork Heart Ministry. On today's program, I have a wonderful guest, and her name is Marianne Skrobiak. She is the liaison for the Catholic Charismatic Renewal in the Archdiocese of Milwaukee. She was appointed by Archbishop Lestecki to that role in 2012, but she has been involved in the Catholic Charismatic Renewal since 1978 and has participated in many national leadership events. In addition, she has just finished a term of six years serving on the Association of Diocesan Liaisons and was the chairperson for three of those years. She has felt led by the Holy Spirit to guide the renewal in an open model of discernment, which has led to some innovative approaches. And Marianne is also a speaker, retreat leader, and she serves in pastoral ministry in her parish, St. Mary's in Hales Corners. Marianne, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for joining me today on Young Catholics Respond and being here to discuss. Thanks, Bill. So uh, talk to us a little bit about the history of the Catholic Charismatic Renewal for people who might not really know what the Charismatic Renewal is. Okay, I'd be happy to do that. Catholic Charismatic Renewal has been around since 1967 in the United States, although it started in other countries before that. And it, it actually started on a, a retreat weekend with students from Duquesne University. They were at a retreat center, which is now called the Ark and the Dove, in the Pittsburgh area. And they ex- had an experience of the Holy Spirit, much like the early apostles and the Blessed Mother did at Pentecost in the upper room. So from that time, the birth of the charismatic renewal in the United States happened and spread like wildfire. What does charismatic mean? It really means a current of grace, an operating in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, as defined in 1 Corinthians 12, and the fruits of the Spirit in Galatians 5. Um, I caught fire of the Holy Spirit in about 78 and started attending national conferences that just grew in my own personal spirituality and was led to to join prayer groups and combine with other people who loved the Lord as much as I did and were on fire with his spirit. Yeah, no, that's beautiful. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, that's beautiful, Marianne. And, uh, you know, one of the things I, uh, want to, want to bring up and just ask you a little bit about are the, are the charismatic gifts you mentioned, you know, first Corinthians, uh, gifts and, and for people who aren't familiar with, with the, with those gifts and what they are. Will you just maybe explain to us a little bit about them? Well, I can give you just sort of a flavor of it. Um, yeah, that'd be great. They are gifts of prophecy, being able to hear from the Lord what he has to say to his people and then to be able to proclaim it. So the Lord actually gives us his words or his messages. Sometimes it's in the form of an image or a vision. 
um, and those are translated and shared with the body because the gifts are meant for the building up of the body of Christ. So prophecy is one, words of knowledge is other, speaking in tongues, which is controversial for some, but I find it to be my own personal prayer language that allows me to pray, as it says in Romans, to pray directly to the Father in words I do not know or understand because I don't know how to pray for some situations. So um, another gift is the discernment of spirits, the ability to understand and proclaim scripture, and so on. And the fruits of the Spirit are obvious. I mean, people shine with the joy of the Lord. Um, There's that gift of joy, that gift of peace and understanding, uh, of good counsel, and so on. They're all defined in Galatians 5, starting at chap- at verse 22. Yeah, so beautiful. I think, uh, you know, that's a, um, a, you know, a wonderful way to, uh, to explain what, what we are, which is, which is a, a group of people um, who exude this joy, exude this joy and operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. As you mentioned, you know, there's so many different uh, beautiful expressions that the Holy Spirit gives to each and every person. Um, and, uh-huh. and, and, and when we unlock those baptismal graces, uh, we, we, we talk about a term that you might hear as well, uh, baptism in the Holy Spirit, for some of our listeners who've listened in uh, previous uh, episodes uh, of, uh, that we've done about charismatic renewal, uh, you, you might talk about uh, just baptism in the Holy Spirit and what that moment was. You kind of talked about it in your own personal uh, moment, right? That own personal uh, baptism in 1978 for yourself. Um, but, but other people experience that too, right? It's that being set on uh-huh. fire. It's like being set on fire with the Holy Spirit. Um, the baptism in the Holy Spirit is not a new baptism. We receive the Holy Spirit in our original baptism. For most of us, that was as a baby, as an infant. What I found as an adult woman was being able to open myself up to the gifts of God that further explode those gifts we receive in baptism and confirmation to make them more usable for the body. Um, I think that's the best way that I can explain it. And it it lit my fire, (laughs) and it (laughs) makes Scripture and Mass and the sacraments more alive for me. Um, It's just been an exciting, exciting journey, and it keeps me Catholic. It's, It's totally Catholic. It has been approved by all of the popes over time, and um, including our own Pope Francis, who defines us as a current of grace. And he really wants everyone to receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit, that fuller expression. Yeah, so beautiful, um, you know, that, that it's become part of uh, the heart of the church, right? I mean, now, uh, Amen. you know, it's become part of the heart of the church. And so, uh, when when we talk about um, the the charismatic renewal, and you mentioned that you know you got involved here in Milwaukee, um, but and and then of course across the country, but uh, talk with us a little bit about how Milwaukee has developed um, in the charismatic renewal since uh, basically its inception. I mean, this year is the 175th anniversary of the Archdiocese of Milwaukee, so uh, the the charismatic renewal uh, has been a, a part of that history and tradition. A big part, actually. This year on Pentecost, we'll be celebrating 52 years of the birth of the Catholic Charismatic Renewal in the United States, as I said earlier. Now, from the early 70s, um, the liaison has been appointed by the then Archbishop Weekland, and we've had a, a, a liaison, a representative of the people between the bishop and the people since that time. Uh, Father Ken Metz was our first And then he got sent to Rome to be part of the international Catholic charismatic renewal. And so then it was handed down to um, Sister Joseph Marie and so on and so forth. Um, I have been involved in leadership practically from the onset, but more in the last 25 years, I would say. Um, And Milwaukee was just blossoming with prayer groups in the early 70s, following the Duquesne weekend following the huge conferences that we'd have at Notre Dame University, where we'd have 10,000 people. And at that time, many of the speakers were ecumenical, which I find interesting because now the Pope, our dear Pope Francis, is calling us 
to, to make this an ecumenical grace that we include all of our charismatic brothers and sisters, even from other traditions, as we move forward in spreading the good news of the Holy Spirit. So it's been an exciting time in Milwaukee. There's been transitions. There's been times of change. But the prayer groups just blossomed in the late 70s. They were like, they were like 500 strong. <laughs> um, at this point in time in our history, most, many of those people have moved into parish ministry, which is a good thing. That's very good. But the prayer groups themselves have kind of dwindled in size. Um, we have about 20-some prayer groups in the Milwaukee Archdiocese at this time, half of which are Hispanic, and they prefer to use their own music and do their own thing, so we don't interface as much as I'd like them to, but we're working on it. And we have a body of people, there are six of us at this point, that are called the discerners. So we vision for the Archdiocese what we believe the Holy Spirit is calling us to offer to our people, to the men and women uh, charismatics, including Life in the Spirit seminars, which bring them into the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, how do... Uh, you know, people interested in this. I think, uh, you know, this is a, a beautiful movement in the church, one that's affected my life personally. And um, uh, and I know many, many Catholics around the world that have experienced uh, some version of this. Um, it, and it's a, it, you know, it's a beautiful thing because there is no founder of this movement. You know, you can't put your finger on and say, Correct. okay, this person is the founder, but um, that, that makes it even more beautiful, right? Um, the ability... Right. And so um, I, I want to ask you a little bit, how do, how do uh, people, you know, get involved more formally? Maybe they've been touched by a um, experience of this uh, in our diocese or some other diocese. And how do you, how do you uh -huh. go about, you know, getting involved in more, in more in the charismatic renewal? Well, that's an interesting question because we do have an office. Uh, we are at the Mary Mother of the Church pastoral center formerly the cousin center so we do have an office there um the the archbishop allows us to have space so we have exposure we have a secretary and a bookkeeper and our phone number is 414-482-1727 and you can also find us at our website ccrmilwaukee.com um, but people often call for those very same with those very same questions bill they'll say okay how do i get more involved where is there a healing mass where is there a charismatic group what does this mean and then we're there to explain to them to communicate with them and to offer them what we are aware of is happening in the archdiocese prayer groups will often offer a life in the spirit seminar which is a basic six-week kind of a, a training course if you will in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, in opening yourself up to more of what God is calling you to at this stage of your life. And we journey with them. You know, we have teachings and we have testimonies, and we, uh, we um, encourage them to get connected to a prayer group because we really believe that our gifts flourish and grow when we're among other people of like mind. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, it's so beautiful. Uh, that that this movement is you know continuing it and continuing to grow, uh, even having a resurgence uh, in Milwaukee, um, and that's mm -hmm. something that I want to talk about with you on the other side of the break. Um, is that resurgence resurgence in Milwaukee, and also one of the big events that the uh, Archdiocese of Milwaukee Catholic Charismatic Renewal is going to put on uh, August second and third. Uh, so, folks, stay tuned uh, to this episode of Young Catholics Respond. When we come back from this short break, we're going to talk more with Marianne about the charismatic renewal in the Catholic Church and uh, the many uh, ways that uh, we can uh, support it and then also uh, get involved in it, especially with uh, that August 2nd. So that's coming up right after this here on Young Catholics Respond. I'm your host, Bill Snyder. Judy Hare was a bankrupt, homeless, drug-addicted college dropout on the brink of divorce, but is now a seminary graduate and devoted wife and mother of four children. What happened? Find out 
in her autobiography, Shattered, How God Restored My Heart and Life. Her journey of faith has been called brutally honest, truly inspiring, profound, heartbreaking, and life-changing. Shattered is available now for only $15 on her website, judyhair.com, on amazon.com, or at your local Catholic bookstore. As Judy says, it is never too late to become the person you deserve and desire to be. So stop wishing for change and start doing something about it by reserving your copy of Shattered today. The words spoken by Our Lady of Guadalupe to Juan Diego nearly 500 years ago are almost too good to be true. Asking that a temple will be built at the site of her apparition, she promised that here I will give all my love, my compassion, my help, and my protection to all those who love me, cry to me, seek me, and who have confidence in me. Here I will listen to their weepings and alleviate all their sufferings, necessities, and misfortunes. My name is Alan Napleton and I live in Dallas, Texas. I have visited her shrine in Mexico City dozens of times, bringing my own petitions and have found Our Lady to be true to her word. Over the years, I have brought hundreds of pilgrims to this holy place without incidents and have now founded Viva Guadalupe, a nonprofit that provides safe and inexpensive pilgrimages to Our Lady's shrine. If you would like to take Our Blessed Mother up on her promise and learn more about how you can visit this special place of grace, please visit vivaguadalupe.org for more information. Faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes by the preaching of Christ. But, I ask, have they not heard? Do you seek to make Scripture a greater part of your daily faith journey? Would you like it readily available on your smartphone or tablet? The Truth and Life Bible app delivers to your mobile device the complete Catholic edition of the Revised Standard Version of the Bible with a concordance entirely free. You will also enjoy free content from Father Robert Barron's Word on Fire, Father Jim McElhone's Word Made Clear, Jeff Caven's The Great Bible Adventure, and the Catholic News Agency. In addition, you can hear the Gospel of Mark dramatically proclaimed by world-renowned actors and actresses like Blair Underwood, Neil McDonough, Kristen Bell, and many more. The full audio dramatization of the New Testament, along with the Ignatius Study Bible, can be purchased within the app. It is available on the App Store, Google Play, Amazon Kindle, and at DownloadJesus.com. Patchwork Heart Ministry is committed to sowing hope into broken hearts by helping young people encounter the love of Jesus Christ and His Catholic Church through prayer, storytelling, and media initiatives. We invite you to prayerfully consider supporting this mission financially. Mail your tax-deductible donation to Patchwork Heart Ministry at P.O. Box 563, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, zip code 53147, or visit patchworkheart.org to donate online. That's Patchwork Heart Ministry, P.O. Box 563, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, 53147, or online at patchworkheart.org. St. Therese of Lisieux's Little Way of the Cross, written by Victoria Clarizo and designed by Just Love Prince, is a beautiful prayer booklet that helps you pray the Stations of the Cross. Use these reflections to meditate on the great love and mercy that Jesus had for us as he journeyed to Calvary. The Little Way of the Cross includes gems from Scripture, the writings of St. Therese, and the words of Jesus from the imagination and prayer of the author. Go to JustLovePrince.com to get your copy today. Your heart is always beating, but you never have to think about it. Welcome back to Young Catholics Respond. Once again, Bill Snyder. Welcome back to this episode of Young Catholics Respond, everybody. I uh, want to remind you that you can support us and our ministry on Patreon. All you have to do is head over to patreon.com. And then you could also search for us on Patchwork Heart Ministry right on Patreon and uh, support our ministry. Again, Patchwork Heart, don't just search for that. That's not us. It's Patchwork Heart Ministry. Uh, follow us, and, and you'll be able to know who's coming up the week uh, before on Patreon. Uh, we're still looking for our first Patreon subscriber, by the way. Uh, so join us and find out uh, and have a little bit of information uh, coming out from our ministry ahead of everyone else. In addition to that... Um, 
On today's program, I'm talking with Marianne Skrobiak. She is the uh, Archdiocesan Liaison uh, for Archbishop Listecki to the Catholic Charismatic Renewal here in Milwaukee. And it's just a pleasure talking to you, Marianne. And really, we talked all about the Charismatic Renewal and even its development in Milwaukee in the first half of the program. But I kind of want to turn to the things that we've recently done and are doing now um, in the in the archdiocese to continue to grow the faith. So just talk to us and tell us a little bit about what's going on. Mm-hmm. Well, this is exciting, Bill, because of our aging population. Many of us have been around for a very long time, and getting out in the evening has been difficult for them. So we've launched in the last year an area-wide prayer meeting held in the afternoon from 1 to 3, very well attended, greatly received. People are grateful, and we're gathering people that we haven't seen for a long time, including new people coming to find out what we're all about. So we did that in January. In February and March, we had a day of reflection, and and we have a big um, Pentecost Eve Mass coming up on Saturday evening, June 8th at 7 o'clock at Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish in St. Francis. You can find out more about that on our website or calling the office as well. But our big push, our major push, following our annual retreat, which the discerners go on every year, we spent the whole weekend really hashing out what we thought the Lord was calling us to do at this major conference called Empowered, that that refreshed, renewed, and restored. And we have some big headliners. We're so excited to have Father Dave Pavanka. Um, many of you are familiar with him from the Wild Goose series. If you're not, you can look that up on the internet. Uh, Dr. Mark Nemo coming from Chicago. Mark is an international speaker, very well versed in the charismatic renewal and what it means not only in his in his home country of Africa, but working in the Archdiocese of Chicago. We have Caroline and Dan Dirks coming from the Ann Arbor area. Formerly, they lived on the East Coast. They are a young couple on fire with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Dan is going to be our worship leader. He has great gifts in this area. If you love praise and worship music, you're not going to want to miss it. And Judy Hare, a local who will, we haven't heard before, but who will also be presenting at our conference. Um, we have early bird registration, so by June 30th, if you register by that date, you get a, a break on the registration fees. We'd love to have you all there. It's a time to gather and give honor and glory to our risen Lord and Savior and the power of his Holy Spirit that he sent out to all of us on Pentecost. It's so true. Uh, it's just an amazing, uh, going to be an amazing conference. Uh, and. The, you know, the speakers, as Marianne mentioned, they're, uh, you know, nationally and internationally known uh, speakers that are going to be uh, really uh, empowering us to, to live. And, you know, uh, I, the, the, the theme for the conference, Refresh, Renewed, Restored, uh, is that something that, you know, I think a lot of people out there today can probably use, right, Marianne, uh, to be refreshed, renewed, oh, I restored? Oh, so. Yes. In this, the dark world that we're living in, with all the things happening, you know, another shooting at a school yesterday, it's like it's so hard for people to keep their faith and trust that the Lord God is here and he is watching over us. And I think that's why we more than ever need to be refreshed in the power of the Spirit and united as a community of believers in, in the rock truths of our faith. You know, God is still alive today. God is still healing, and God is doing miracles at every turn. He is. And so, you know, with that empowered theme, it's also going out to live your faith uh, and, and, really, um, and, and, and really be able to, you know, take on the world, right? I mean, that's the, that's the empowered theme. And so uh, some of the different elements of the weekend are going to help people do that. There's, uh, we want to talk just a little bit about the elements of, of what we're present, uh, what's being presented uh, Friday and Saturday, uh, just to just to give Certainly. people an idea. Mm-hmm. On Friday night, our keynote speaker is going to be Dr. Mark Nemo, and he's going to really talk about the general theme of empowerment and kind of get people fired up. We're also going to have um, a daily mass, a short daily mass by Father Dave Kavanka, who is a wonderful homilist. So you'll have an opportunity to experience him as well. 
And then at the end of the evening, we're going to have a panel with, with Dr. Mark, with Father Dave, and with Caroline and Dan. And what we're really asking them to share is a brief five-minute testimony of how they have been touched by the Holy Spirit and how they continue to be refreshed in the Spirit and renewed through, um, through their, the things that they do in their lives. And then on Saturday, we have a full, full day. Of course, we have Dan leading that praise and worship again. We have Dr. Mark Nemo speaking, Caroline Dirk speaking on family because they're a young family with five children, and they can really address the charismatic issues within that context. And, and then we have Judy giving a talk in the afternoon. Um, and then besides that, if that weren't enough, we're having workshops that will be repeated. So you have two chances to hear Dr. Mark talking about being renewed, Father Dave about being refreshed, and Judy Hare talking about being restored. And this, again, will be powerful testimonies from their own life on each of those topics. So they w- we ask them to make them practical, how-to sessions that are interactive. So I trust that that will be fruitful as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's an engaging, hands-on uh, type of type of mm-hmm. ministry and day. It's not. This is something that you know it fits right into what the what what the church says about how we're supposed to go to church. You know, full, active, and conscious participation. Right. Uh, it's certainly absolutely. going to be that. It's certainly mm-hmm. going to be that. And so uh, I, I, I have to ask you in the closing minutes, how do people register uh, for it? Because it's very important that uh, they know how to register for it and that they get uh, to come because it's going to be an awesome, awesome weekend. It is. Before I, before I do that, I'm going to add that we're going to have a 4 o'clock closing mass that will be over the top. <laughs> okay, <Yes. laughs> A celebration of what God has given us that day. So how do you register? You could you can go on our website. You can register online at www.ccrmilwaukee.com. It's all right there for you. Um, if that if that doesn't work for you because you don't have a computer, you can send in your registration to the office or call the office at 414-482-1727, and we'll be happy to take your registration. Um the rates are very reasonable for this lineup. There are, by June 30th, if you register, the early bird registration rate is $55 for individual, 100 per couple, 40 for adults, and seminarians are free. Isn't that amazing? After yeah. that, after that, they go up. Of course, you know, a little bit. Of course, ten dollars. Yeah, but make sure you get on and register uh, again. And if you and if you know your Catholic, uh, you know priests or or uh, seminarians in your parish that would want to attend this event, they go for free, folks. So uh, so right. so make sure that you just get them, you know, in, involved and uh, and let them know about it as well because it's going to be a great event. Again, it's only fifty five dollars for individuals before June thirtieth. And then uh, couples are one hundred dollars, and then it goes up ten after uh, June thirtieth. The website, one more time, is ccrmilwaukee.com, and then all you have to do is click on the events page, and uh, it'll pop right up there. Empowered twenty nineteen. You'll be able to find it real easy and uh, register for the conference online. And as Marianne said, if you don't have internet access or um, or whatever, just call the CCR office. Um, as well. So, Marianne, thank you right. so much for your time today. Mm, you're welcome. You're welcome. Praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. This is uh, just an awesome conversation. Everyone head over to the Empowered Conference on uh, August 2nd and 3rd and register online at ccrmilwaukee.com. Uh, for uh, Marianne Skorbiak, I'm Bill Snyder. This has been Young Catholics Respond. Until next time, from all of us here at Patchwork Heart Ministry, Keep beating to your Catholic heart. You've been listening to Young Catholics Respond, a radio initiative of Patchwork Heart Ministry. To learn more about our ministry and program, visit us at patchworkheart.org. Or to get exclusive access and early ministry updates, become our patron on Patreon by searching for Patchwork Heart Ministry.